love cameras. Because <laughs> I'm going to imitate Craig since he's not here right now. Let me see. So, are you going to laugh at all my jokes? <laughs> Craig? Yeah. Talking like, like this? I feel, you know, just hands everywhere. Well, maybe I should try and imitate you. Oh, be nice. Come on. Hello, Bridge Church, and welcome. No way! <laughs> this morning we have so many exciting things happening with our kids. <laughs> I love Christmas kids. Eve, Christmas Day. We have so many kids things happening. I love that Captain <laughs> smile. What are you guys doing? What's happening here? Well, maybe. we're uh, we're kind of imitating each other. I was just I was trying Tati, and it I'll wasn't great. It so hard. no one's done it yet. No, I got this. I got okay. this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a permanent one. This is a uh, this is a tattoo that means nothing, but it looks cool anyway. <laughs> Hey Bridge Church, I don't get excited because I'm really cool. I just want to tell you two things. Check your light, shoot your shot. See you later, Bridge Church. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, since we're already imitating each other, maybe we should talk about imitation. What do you guys think? Sounds good. I think. <laughs> So it's Christmas, we should talk about Christmas, and mm -hmm. we should talk about imitation. And when I think about those two things colliding together, I think about Philippians 2. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to read the passage, and then obviously you guys have, obviously looking at Tati's table here, you guys have yeah. absolutely no preparation at all for this. Uh, this is completely spontaneous. So I'll spontaneously <laughs> ask you for your thoughts about this passage. Perfect. <laughs> Philippians 2. So spontaneous. So spontaneous. <laughs> Um, I'll pick it up in verse 3. Paul says, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So we've got three pieces. We've got Philippians 2, we've got Christmas, and we've got the whole idea of imitation. Mm -hmm. Nate, how do those things come together for you? Yeah, when I think of like all three of those pieces, I often, I often first I think of the, the expectation that these early disciples and these followers would have like expected like in a messiah they have like these written accounts of like there's this potential messiah and then all of a sudden it no longer is just like words on a page or words spoken in history but there's there's god in the flesh joining our world and not in like a hey like i'm here but i'm not here like fully human he's like he, he entered into this world as a baby in like not the most glamorous of settings and and he entered into that. And I I don't know, for myself, I often think of this season of like all of the extra stuff that's going on. And here we have like, we can kind of gloss over like, oh, cool, like God is, God is Jesus. Like that's kind of confusing, but like God as Jesus in this world taking on flesh, taking on everything that, like, all of our struggles, all of this stuff, and I just, that to me is, that just, that blows my mind. Mm -hmm. Like, that is, 
when you stop and you think about that for a second, that's that that to me stands out from from this passage. The humility of of that act. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. How about you, Tati? Well. Yeah, you, you were happened, prepared. I just happened to have some shaving cream just here. Just happened, and so you have stuck a label on it that says Jesus. Yeah. I, I you know, know I have to the... think of my kids that are, my kids, I already call them my kids. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching this, and I want them to be part of this. What kind of theological statement does this make that whipped cream is Jesus? I feel yeah. like well, it's questionable. Well, it's sensitive. Oh, shave, oh, shave cream, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, it checks out. It checks out. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, when I think about verse, I think it's verse 5, when it says um, for us to um, exchange our mind, right? Have the Jesus mindset. Mm -hmm. And when I think about the choices and all the, um, our dreams and our plans before we have Jesus, it's almost like rocks that are heavy and just kind of belong to myself. Even though if I may um, pour to somebody else, it kind of falls in there, makes this big noise, and it's just there, not connected to myself anymore, hmm. right? So, here's me, where's myself? Okay, found me here. So here's the idea. If I get all myself full of those thoughts and things before I have Jesus, my mindset is just full of my own plans and my own dreams, right? But then, underneath me, not really underneath, but around me, I have my neighbors, I have work, I have my friends, I have my family, right, and whoever else or any other place you may be um, attending, so you're right there. So I'm like right here on top. If I actually, whoa, that was why I brought plastic, because yeah. we're actually like shiny uh, crystals, right? <laughs> okay, so... Um, we'll take plastic for now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this is the thing. Whatever I have in me, it will somehow pour into whoever is around me, hmm. right? There's no way that 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 doesn't happen. People kind of, like, understand uh, who I'm following. So I just feel like when Jesus talks about having his mindset, first of all, we have to get rid of all that we first thought was true and right. So we actually get to be filled by a Jesus mindset. And the idea of a shaving cream for me is that it actually is light, right? And it expands. So whatever, just shake, 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 shake. Okay, <laughs> so when I start getting filled, is this, oh, sorry. My that was almost embarrassing. <laughs> almost, almost embarrassing. Like, when I start getting filled <laughs> by Jesus' mindset, it smells good too. Can you can you tell Not me? Not yet. No? no, it hasn't reached this side yet. But no. the idea, yeah, I guess Rodrigo <laughs> used some of the shaving cream. It was Come for on, our man. You can tell. So you, you got it, right? You got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is the idea that slide and it's hands and it, and it just overflows to your family friends and mm -hmm. neighbors yeah. so when you get and when you go down to the verse um, I think 15 or 12 talks about being um, like the stars right yeah. right the stars yeah. are all about um, shining not for themselves mm -hmm. but being bright and we are here thousands and thousands of miles away and we can still see their brightness mm -hmm. so this is what I feel like when we have Jesus mindset we're um we're influencing all our surroundings and people will be able to tell that we are Jesus followers somehow they even just got a little glimpse of it but they will yeah. notice you know they will tell oh okay this is it so if you're not and that's another thing maybe if they don't notice is because you weren't filled enough hmm. Hmm. okay Need more shaving cream. Need more yeah, shaving. I need more shaving cream. Yeah. Smells it. Smells good. I'm starting to get that smell. Is that it? Doesn't reach the side room yet, but. Scent free. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Okay, so that's what came to my mind. Yeah. Well, I was thinking, yeah, especially of, of the idea of imitation and what it means to, to imitate Jesus. Um, because it doesn't mean clearly to live life exactly as he did, right? Thinking about his birth, thinking about how he came. As far as I know, I know some people's moms go, you were, were you born in a barn? 
but probably uh, none of us were actually born in a stable, and uh, I'm guessing none of us were born of a virgin. Uh, can't really imitate Jesus in, in his birth. Of course, birthplace, probably not Bethlehem for most of us. Uh, thinking about even his, his life and how he lived his life, and, and realistically, of course, we're not going to live exactly as he did. So and to me, kind of what you were talking about, Tati, in terms of the Jesus mindset, mm-hmm. that, that that's what imitation of Jesus looks like, to follow Jesus. We're in different cultures, different situations. Some are married, some aren't. You know, some have kids, some don't. We're, we're all in these very different situations. But following Jesus means carrying the same mindset across all of those contexts and situations. Uh, and the mindset that, that brought about Christmas, that mindset of of humbling ourselves, putting the needs of others above our own, not holding on to our own power and status and prestige, but willing to lay that down for the sake of others. So Christmas is is a model for us, of course, not in terms of how we're born or, or how we live our, our, uh, our lives um, specifically, but, but with that mindset that, that Jesus had. And that's what we want to imitate. Uh, that, that's what we want to follow. So, yeah. Closing thoughts, anyone? Rodrigo? Oh, good. I need some <laughs> new shaving cream. <laughs> well, Bridge Church, uh, today is Christmas Day. Hopefully, well, you might be watching this on Christmas Day, maybe not. But if you are, uh, we want to say Merry Christmas to you, where we hope and we pray that you will experience the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus, uh, whose birth we celebrate on this day, that whoever you're with, Uh, that you will know the presence of God. We miss you. We look forward to seeing you again. And in a a kind of a a way, we've been able to spend some time with you here in in this way, but we look forward to seeing you face-to-face soon. Merry Merry Christmas. Christmas.